everyone. If you have four t-shirts and two pairs of jeans, how many different outfits can you make? That's going to be one problem. And another one is how many ways can eight people line up in a cafeteria line? So this is an introduction to probability. And on this video, we are using the multiplication principle. And I'm also going to show you how to use a tree diagram for this one. So basically a tree diagram, and I'm going to go from left to right. If I have four t-shirts, for a tree diagram, I'm going to make four branches. So one, two, three, four. Now here I'm going to write t-shirts. And since we have four different t-shirts, we can call them um, A, B, C, and D. All right. Now, uh, let's draw, we have two pairs of jeans, so let's draw two branches from each of our t-shirts. <coughs> By the way, the A, B, C, D is called the leaves. So there's my branches. And now I can, uh, we have two pairs of jeans, so I can call those um, two different choices. Let me put jeans. So the first pair, second pair, first pair, second pair, first pair, second pair, first pair, second pair. All right. So now for our leaves, we're going to do our possible outfits. So our possible outfits. And you just uh, look here. So this is A1. Then we have A2. You see what I'm doing? B1. B2. C1. C2. D1. D2. Now you count those up and that's eight. So you have eight possible outfits. Instead of doing a tree diagram, what you could have done is use the multiplication uh, principle. It's also known as the counting principle. But we could just have said 4 times 2 equals 8. So we have two actions can be performed together in uh, n times n ways. It's kind of like that, or m, m times n ways, something like that. All right, now the next one is how many ways can eight people line in a cafeteria? <clears throat> so you can either put little boxes or little, and I'm not going to do boxes. I'm just going to put the spaces. So first person, second person, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight. Let's see if I got that right. Okay. And we have eight people. So you choose one person, you have eight. The next person is seven and six people can fill the next slot and so on. This is also known as eight factorial. So you can always put that in your calculator and uh, calculate it that way versus typing all that in. And that's going to give you 40,320. And again, we use the multiplication principle. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.